Okay, it's heavily damaged and it's redirected considerable power to its drones. Get ready for a fight. Okay, let's take a look at the situation. The ion weapon appears to have been completely blasted off the ship. That's pretty good. They still have missiles, but the guy inside is dead. You know, I don't remember killing him. I wonder if he just committed suicide in shame having blown up part of his ship. That is really curious, but what that means for us is that this can't be repaired. So if we shoot this, I believe with three shots, we don't have to worry about missiles. There are other things we have to worry about, however. They, as the message said, have redirected considerable power to their drones. Now right now they just have a beam drone and a combat drone out here. It's not very threatening. It could hurt us, probably not a lot. But they're about to launch a boarding drone at us. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. But first, let's see if our defense drone has anything to say about that. Oh, well there's a boarding drone. I think our defense drone has just gotten distracted. So we may have to do something I really didn't want to do. Yeah, we're going to have to cloak. This is one way you can avoid these boarding drones. You just cloak while he's still in space, and he's kind enough to just explode. I think while we're cloaked, this will last for 15 seconds at uh, the maximum upgrade. We should go ahead and just start mind controlling and creating havoc in their ship. So let's mind control their pilot. Our weapons are fully charged, but I think I want to just let this cloak finish because it'll prevent his weapons from charging. We can also go ahead and power our anti-drone here. Um, you know, I think they must have changed that in Advanced Edition. It used to be that it would just blow up when it was in space, but it appears that he has effectively boarded our ship. So what this means is that he automatically will tear a hull breach in here, so the O2 will be rapidly depleting in this room. Uh, he's more powerful than a regular crew member, so uh, it's not effective to fight him one-on-one, -on -one, especially since the oxygen will so rapidly deplete. I've just turned our O2 level 2 uh, all the way on, so our O2 will refill three times faster. That'll keep the air in here going a little bit longer. We're going to send a human to help our mantis, and we're going to hope that this works for the best. Our weapons are charged. We need to fire at their missiles. Let's do it. Okay, one of our lasers actually hit one of their drones and killed it. Now that prevented it from hitting their ship, which is bad, but it did kill their drone, which is good. Um, there is a short cooldown on the drone, so I don't think they can just shoot another one immediately. Now it says power surge detected. This is the second stage of the boss. And what that means this time around is that we're about to get hit with a lot of drones. A lot of drones. And we want to be cloaking through that, but unfortunately I tried to use it to dodge the boarding drone earlier because he's just so uh, devastating to your ship. But I don't think we'll be that lucky this time around. We can use the battery, that will give us enough to power our engines fully, and we can even keep our anti-drone on doing that. Actually, you know what? We should keep our O2 level 2 on. Um, so that's what we're doing, and hopefully this plan will work out. Now as you can see, there are a lot of drones, and as we just saw, they fired a laser, so in conjunction with their drones, this could get through our shields. We lucked out though, and it didn't. Our anti-drone got shot down, but he wasn't really doing a whole lot anyway. You know, he's not actually as useful as I was hoping he would be. You'll notice that we got rid of their uh, boarding drone, so now we're going to temporarily heal our guy in case we get attacked again. We'll leave somebody in there for shields. Yapping Eevee should actually be on weapons, but um, you know what? We'll leave the Mantis on shields. We'll leave you two at Kaline Zombie. And uh, Highwayman, you just need to go heal. Oh, uh, well, we got hit with some missiles. I didn't see that was up, but uh, obviously it should be. Let's go ahead and fire at those missiles. 
Okay, we need to hit it one more time in order to take it down for good. Okay, um, we need to tell uh, rather to leave this room temporarily so that um, Yapping Eevee can take control. Better at weapons, it'll charge faster. That really was actually a pretty heavy disadvantage that I hadn't noticed that previously. So it's really important to pay attention. We need our NG to go repair our drone area. Highwayman has finished healing, which means that Kalon Zombie can go back to our sensors so that we can see their weapons charging. I think this NG should go ahead and heal as well. And uh, Robust Laser, you're gonna have to hang in there. We've just been boarded in our battery. Uh, it's not ideal, but it's also not the end of the world. I think we'll go ahead and send our Mantis over there. Um, we're not going to be able to send a reinforcement though, so our Mantis may end up needing to uh, take a retreat to the med bay and come back. We're going to go ahead and use mind control as well. Um, once again on their pilot. This time we'll be ready to fire quite soon, and so we may be able to shoot them when they don't have a pilot. We're going to once again fire on those missiles. And we got through only once, but that was all we needed. So those missiles are out for the rest of this fight. We still have to worry about uh, the power, but it's it's okay. Because uh, when the power surge happens, we can just cloak. That's why you get the cloaking. Um, it's useful before you get to the boss, but cloaking is really just necessary once you're at the boss. I, I say necessary, there are ways to not have it, but it's just so, so helpful. Um, right now what's happened is this boarding drone has taken out our battery and there's no O2 in that room. We don't want to engage him in there. He's heading to our oxygen. Now you might think that sounds pretty bad, um, but that's actually okay because what we're going to do... Uh, I don't know why Rather is in here. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do is meet him in O2 where we actually do have oxygen and then we'll fight him on our own terms and that'll be just great for us. Um, we're about to be able to cloak, our weapons are fully charged so right before we cloak we want to fire our weapons at the drone. Uh, actually you know the drone's not that great of a threat right now. Let's go ahead and try to hit their weapons. All right, now we're going to cloak, which means that our engines are really not important at all. So uh, we've just finished off their drone. Another one will be back in short order, but it gives us a brief respite from it. I'm gonna send both of our NGs to repair the battery. We can also go ahead and use mind control on that guy who is trying to repair that weapon to just delay that for a bit. Uh, and while we're here, um, I think we are gonna need to heal our potato friend, he's getting quite low, having heroically tried to repair the breach uh, within a room that has no oxygen. Uh, we've come out of our cloak, so we will need to turn our engines back on soon, namely right now when we're being shot at. Um, our weapons are fully charged once again, so we want to go ahead and fire. Uh, this time, we'll be aiming for their shields. Now, we'll, we'll aim for their drones. That will hopefully prevent a boarding drone from getting on our ship. Uh, or a boarding drone would immediately get on our ship. But now that we shot their drone even once, well, he's not going to fight back. The oxygen is still leaking out of this room, but at least we don't have to fight him. And hey, that's got to be worth something, right? Um, there is a power surge going on right now, and as you can see, we're being hit quite a bit. Uh, it's just not great to have a power surge. I think we may want to break out our anti-drone and just hope that he can disable enough of these to do something, but looks like he can't even make up his mind which one. He did finally get one. We almost have our weapon charged. This drone control room could be going a lot better, but the guy is at least almost dead. And we're going to want to heal these guys before any sort of repairs take place. Our cloaking is finally ready. 
Uh, our friend here did break out of his mind control, uh, so he is now repairing that weapon, but that's not too bad. We'll try and hit their shields. We're not going to need to cloak or put power in cloaking unless we're using it, so we'll just take it out of there for now. The power surge is happening, so we'll definitely want to engage our cloaking now. That just makes engines not a priority at all. So uh, I think we should still not need to heal anyone. Unfortunately, Robust needs to stay in the engine room, which is too far away. Um, and we don't want to lose her. It's a lot of evasion in there. Or him, rather. We're going to go ahead and mind control that guy on the halberd beam. It seemed to work well last time. So we're just going to hope that he takes out that system for us. Inflicts that one hull damage. And this strategy of a thousand cuts will work out excellently for us. Um, normally I wouldn't want to fire during cloak. But we have mind control going. Our weapons are fully charged. And... Uh, we have them on the ropes, so we want to go ahead and try and capitalize on our momentum here. Um, I wasn't paying attention, and so these guys are almost dead, and our oxygen is for some reason off. I'm going to turn on our battery and give us uh, level 2 oxygen, and that should hopefully help things a little bit. Um, we do still need our med bay to have some power. Uh, this is looking a little bit better now. Our anti-drone is actually doing a pretty great job. I don't think he just stuns them. I think he does actually kill them. He even zapped that boarding drone there, which uh, that's really excellent. I didn't know that he could do that, and that makes me really happy, especially because our engineers need time to repair the doors, and we need to go ahead and fire our weapons once again. Okay, we hit them one time. Strategy of a thousand cuts is still working. I think we should go ahead and cloak now. It's the perfect time to do it. We've just been hit with that boarding drone that was temporarily stunned, and so we'll want to send our mantis over there to engage. Uh, Jabor, I don't know why you're not helping with the doors, but I guess it's too late now. Um, we're going to go ahead and send the NG over there. He can't fight much, but he's just kind of wandering around, so it'll help a little bit. We have our O2 at, two, at level 2, so that'll give us more time to fight him off before the oxygen gets sucked out of that room. Um, even though we'll lose the power, I think we do really have to take rather out of weapons. So I'm going to take a power out of engines first, and when we lose that power, it should automatically jump in. Um, or maybe not. Either way, we seem to still have our weapons charging, so that's fine. Um, they're repairing the breach now, having destroyed the guy. Um, we're still in cloaking, so I'm going to let him heal a little bit faster. And then we'll try and get rather back into the weapons as soon as possible. Uh, our Mantis can go back on sensors. Jabor, you can just go hang out in shields in case that gets hit. And uh, we're good. Our weapons are ready to go once again. We're going to go ahead. Actually, we can just use mind control on that guy once again. Now we uh, appear to have gotten the benefit of a level 2 mind control because our Zoltan passed through there, uh, but we only spent one power, so that's pretty neat. Um, we're about to get hit with the power surge, however, that's less neat. Let's make sure that our engines have full power now. Uh, we hit them a little bit again, so that's great. Our anti-drone uh, appears to be earning his keep, actually. So um, we are still getting hit, don't get me wrong. Uh, nobody said this was going to be an easy fight. But I think that we can manage it. You know, the, so far they haven't taken out anything critical. I'm prioritizing mind control just because I really like it. Uh, it's not necessarily really critical. Um, but we'll get the sensors after that. I say it's not critical, that's only because their missiles are already out. And the halberd beam, while I do like taking it out because it prevents disasters, uh, it's not strictly necessary. Um, we're about to have a power surge, so we're just going to go into cloaking once again. Our charge laser still needs some time anyway, so it's the perfect time to do that. We can go ahead and let Kalon heal. Uh, actually, we shouldn't take our shields out. We'll just do that from engines. OK, 
Okay, and back to the doors. We'll of course put the power back in our engines. We don't need level two oxygen anymore, so that will go back as well. We do want to mind control our friend here, just to keep that down. Um, but other than that, we'll actually let the cloaking finish, just to let our mind control friend do some more damage. Now that it's over, we'll fire our weapons. Okay, again, we just hit them once, but our strategy of a thousand cuts is working. We're uh, surviving a little bit better than they are, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to make it. We're getting hit a little bit again, but I don't think there's anything we can do. Well, we can use our battery to once again power our engines all the way, so that's a great investment. We have our full uh, weapon array again, so let's go ahead and try and aim for it piloting this time. They just repair their shields. At least this way if one shot gets through it makes it easier for the next shot to get through. Uh, that's my thinking at least. So we're just gonna kind of wait for our lasers to charge. We have taken a few hits in this fight but nothing too scary. We can go ahead and fire right before we uh, get hit with another power surge. And now we can cloak to avoid that power surge. We have our mind control. We are, of course, going to use it. This will do another hull damage. As he repairs it and destroys the system again, he'll do one hull damage each time. So, in theory, you could actually destroy ships completely just with boarding. Uh, I have done it before, but it's usually just not practical and not a good idea. He's power surging again. Usually they don't do it this fast. I do kind of wonder if they increased it in Advanced Edition. Uh, I do remember having more time, but maybe I'm just mistaken. It is always a hard fight. I would really love to have more power. Our battery's already ready again, so uh, the cooldown on that seems pretty great. Just need to notice when to use it. Um, we only have to hit him two more times, so once again I'm going to aim for the piloting. We hit him once. Uh, I think we can actually take him down the same way we did before, using mind control. This is just so hilarious to me. Uh, I really, really like killing the boss using his own men in mind control. And if it means that uh, if we have to fight him again, that guy's dead, well, all the better. In fact, that guy would be dead anyway. He's just sealed his own fate by exploding his own weapon.